Mm. This guy's interesting. Let's try this guy. Hey, the final biscuit. Let's hope this world is the final biscuit. Huh? Huh? Alright, and I will reset the timer this time. Thank you for the reminder. Uh, can someone do an uptime? I haven't been numbering these worlds, but I think we're into like our sixth or seventh world. Alright, reset the timer. Uh, did I get any torches? I did not. Alright, but it looks like there could be some cavey stuff over there. Yeah, we got Queen Bee, King Slime, I Cthulhu, Brain or Eater, uh, Wall of Flesh, and Skeletron. All the pre-hard mode bosses. Neat, less than an hour. I like it. Alright, and we have what looks like two possible chest locations right near spawn, so that's good. Um, let's jump to there. And down here. Nice. Dark trap. Is that an enchanted sword? It's not. It's the sword that's not going. Okay, neat. Uh, so I want this. And I have some ropes. Okay. Neat, going mushrooms. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm going to dig my way down to them. Let's take a quick peek over here. Not immediately seeing anything. Okay, let's dig into the glowing mushrooms. This will also get me some stone for a furnace. Um, we'll hold on to the life heart. Crystal, whatever. Don't do it, Ice Slime! Don't do it! Yikes! Oh no, the bat's gonna come get me! Oh boy! Ah! Alright. Alright, we know there's glowing mushrooms there. Now that I have... Okay, there is a chest over here. And there's kind of like more cavey stuff. Um, and I think I have enough ropes to do that. Yep, okay. Great. Spear wooden boomerang. I like it. And let's go a little bit further to the right. I could afford to get some more things before I head back down there. Grab a couple pieces of lead ore in case we need them. Alright, seems like there's a lot of caves near to spawn on this one. So that's a good thing. Ah, well. Is that a cave? Nah, I don't think so. And yeah, this guy's hair is pretty shiny. They bloom, very nice, very nice. Plant that on one of the little kind of like high ridges near home. And from here I should be able to jump through this, so that's fine. Looks like there might be a cave here. Uh, I don't have... Eh, there's a background wall. Anything down here? No. Alright, but I can do this.
Right, I have going mushrooms, so I've got that advantage. Here's the... Okay, chest. Superior spear, very nice. So we got our decent weapon. Oh, gold chest. Extractinator. Uh, that's kind of a mixed blessing. Um, kind of won't pay off for a little while. Could help us get a ruby. Um, yeah, not sure what to think about that yet. And then it looks like there's a diamond over here. Alright, but let me keep that in mind that I need to go after Sultan Slush. Oh, that's lead that was going, okay. Uh, and I need to craft some more torches, torches, torches. Lead. Some amethyst. I'm not gonna go after them right now. We're gonna look for a bigger pocket to get us start. Okay, hey, look at this. Very nice, very nice. And is there something else over here? Looks like there is. Alright, but one thing at a time. Some kind of trap. It is a boulder trap, and I see it. Can I just break this boulder? There we go. Okay. I don't have to worry about the trap. Magic mirror. And a suspicious looking eye. Um, I don't have stuff to take on Eye of Cthulhu just yet. Uh, a little bit of gold ore I wouldn't mind trying to get. Can I break it from here? Let's do... Oh, I'm solo on blocks. I need to use dirt or something. Or solo on wood is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I just want to have a couple pieces of that in my inventory. And I... Oh, didn't see that coming. Okay, I don't have the stuff to fight the eye yet. Six minutes in... Uh, there's still this area right below that I didn't go further down, because I saw the chest. So let's go down here. Another chest. Okay, good. Glow sticks. That's nice. I should have thrown down the extractinator, but I didn't think to do it. And I think I have some grenades in my inventory. Which could be good. It looks like we saw a demonite, and so this is a corruption world. Oops. Um... Oh! Ouch! Alright, I've got glow sticks. So I can figure a way out of here. Okay, there's a bunch more amethysts there, so I feel kind of bad about passing up the other amethyst. But I'm going to continue to pass them up. For the moment. They're kind of in inconvenient spots. Uh, might be jellyfish down there. Oh no, it's more glowing mushrooms, okay. Is this the same glowing mushrooms? Not sure. Uh, this guy could drop a hook, potentially. Um, I should use a boomerang against you. Oh, it's out the nymph again! I've run through so many times. Um, how long is it going to take the spear to defeat her? It's going to take a while and I'm going to start drowning if I don't get some air. Alright, well maybe she'll drop a banner and we'll call this a nymph banner speedrun. <laughs> or maybe she'll just kill me. Oh my gosh. She is, she is a bad thing. Son of a gun. Explosive traps are definitely in the game. I ran into like four of them yesterday. All right. We're going right back there. So I wanted to get the glowing mushrooms and I saw there was a gold chest. It'd be my third gold chest of this world. The first two didn't have any accessories.
Here's my money. Actually, my money should be down here. I am gonna get it, actually. Because I had a fair bit. Hey, go away. I see the pressure plate. Because I am a seasoned pro. And I never fall victim to traps. Hey, warding cloud to bottle, okay. Uh, that is huge. That is the best luck I've had all day. Um, where was that? Oh, I'm standing right on the pressure plate right now. Okay, got it. I see, and this is the glowing mushrooms where I died before. Okay, so it was the same patch of glowing mushrooms. And I know that there's a thing over here, and I just saw there's some emeralds right there. Let's go after them. Okay, warding cloud in a bottle, so I've got a double jump, which I forgot to use when I was just climbing up here. And I've got some defense. Alright, so... Oh, look at this! This could be really good. How do I not die to this guy? Uh, very carefully. Oh, I have Spelunker potions in my inventory, too. Wow. Yeah, okay, this is definitely the best start we've had today. Go out the door, please. Thank you. There we go. Perfect. I'm happy to say that that was intentional. So is this. Alright, I see a bunch more amethyst over there. So the amethysts are just everywhere in this world, apparently. How did you get in here, Ice Bat? Is there a hole in the ceiling? Did you spawn? What happened there? Okay. Uh, snowball cannons, not so great. Uh, ice torches are not bad. I need to... Alright, I don't need that. Let's drop off that. Uh, that's not really going to be worth much to me. I've got lots of explosives. I've got a lot of things going for me, actually, right now. Um, this is pretty good. Let's, from here... Uh, and I actually, I don't think I've made a workbench in this world, so let's grab that one. Um, I guess I should start picking up these amethyst, huh? <laughs> Since I keep seeing them and not getting them. The warding cloud at the bottle. It's pretty amazing. And if I could get a grappling hook on top of that, which actually, if I go retrace my steps, I should be able to find the other amethysts, possibly. I don't remember where they were, though. I think they were in the farther away caves. Um, let's do this. I see the one emerald below me. Okay. Ice bat, you're bad. Okay, great. Ah, uh, Ruby. I definitely need that. Alright. King Slime. Just became that much more of a possibility. And, oh man, just a tiny bit more jumping ability. Okay, another single emerald. Surely there's a pocket of them somewhere. I can't remember. I already did get gold in this world. So yeah, now the problem is I've gone through so many worlds. Okay, let's uh, magic mirror home. Right, and I have day blooms that I could plant. Um, let's do this. Right next to spawn, I'm gonna plant day bloom seeds, and then I think there's flat area over here where I could build some housing. Let's dig up some sunflowers. Yeah, let's do that. Probably take a wild dig. Do I know which direction? With the warding cloud and a bottle, I could also wait on the housing and try to... Let's see, we're 13 minutes in. Try to go find the dungeon. Um, let me at least set down the extractinator, a uh, chest, a uh, crafting table, and... Just throw that away. Let's sell those for a little bit. I'm not gonna do Ayakathu because I still don't have great weapons. 
Got a Splunker Potion. Oh, I did already have some emeralds. I should have grabbed that emerald. Alright. At least I had to waste some gold, since I haven't built the housing yet. And grenades, uh, but then I could afford to use the bombs if I need to. Yeah, let's try to run across the world. Actually, I can make an anvil right now. Let's do that really quick. I can carry it with me. And yeah, let's put away the ruby. I realize I'm going pretty slow here, but I think it's appropriate. And I already have greater healing potions in my inventory, so I can put these away for now. Okay, and the rest of that's pretty good. Um, and so, on the map... Uh, ice was to the left, which means dungeon should be to the left. So let's go to the left and just see if we can get to the dungeon by chance. Let's use our cloud in the bottle. I should have put the recall potions in a chest. Alright, can't quite make it there. There we go. Oh boy. This is more underwater than I would like to be. Thank goodness for the cloud. The warding cloud. Oh gosh, heal. That was <laughs> pretty close. Just about had negative 16 hit points there. Alright, apparently I need to kill a couple of these guys so that they don't kill me. I'll just get a black lens. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. Ah. There we go. Okay, he's finally off my back. Great. Okay, so we're covering a lot of distance. Unfortunately, I haven't seen many stars that have fallen on the ground during the night, which is one of the points of trying to do this run. Over to the side of the map, and I'm not sure if this is going to go into a cave. I'm going to take a quick peek just to see. I'm not going to go down too far, basically, once it kind of gets dangerous, I'm gonna head back up, probably. But here is... Okay, an umbrella is good. I have a cloud in a bottle, so it's less valuable, but it's still somewhat good. Hmm, maybe I won't go after the water bolt, because I'm getting pretty deep here. Uh, how good is that? That's a normal spear, and this one's superior, okay? And... Yeah, maybe I'll go spelunking, then. Oh, hey! Menacing climbing claws! Okay, that's good. Some glass bottles. Um, yeah... Okay, based on the dirt background, we haven't even gotten down to the cavern layer yet. Right? So let's keep going down and maybe we'll try a Spelunker Potion. Oh, we're back in an icy kind of area. This will be harder to survive in. Um, not sure the best strategy right now. How many more emeralds do I need? I don't need that many. Let's use a Spelunker Potion. And a Shine Potion. And a Night Owl Potion. And is there any other armor I could do? I don't think so. I could make some wood armor. I'm not even sure I could do that, because I don't have any wood. Okay, I don't immediately see anything good here, so let's just try to get past these guys. Oh, hey! There's something good. Alright, let's go up there.
A blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Ooh! A uh, Hurtful Ice Boomerang. That's a nice weapon. Uh, it's too late in the night now, but I could use that against Eye of Cthulhu, and I've got the summon. Uh, so we could go after Cthulhu the next night. Um, and actually, now that I've got a Hurtful Ice Boomerang, now I can just fight you guys. Because you're going to be like three hit kills. And this thing gives off some light, and there's some emeralds, and I really want emeralds to finish off my hook. And so despite... Do I have a mining potion? I don't see one if I do. Alright, so despite the fact it's going to be a bit of a dig, I'm going to dig down to these emeralds. Because a cloud in a bottle plus a grappling hook is like infinite mobility, effectively. Okay, so this will bring me to 12 emeralds, so now I'm only 3 away. Oops. From being able to have a grappling hook. Uh, see some topaz or something over there. Not gonna worry about it too much. Those could still be good. Got some more bombs. Great. Here's another chest. Stay alive. Let's heal. Uh, loot all. Uh, ice boomerang. That one's not hurtful. Featherfall potion. I'm gonna go ahead and just drink. And let's drop off. There aren't that many things I don't need. That'll sell for a lot. And so let's get that back in my inventory. Okay, a couple of sapphires. Okay, here's another house. Great. And I have an extractinator, I believe, in this world. And so we'll dig through the slush. And we might be able to get emeralds that way, although there's not going to be enough slush for that to really kind of pan out. <laughs> Infinite mobility. Alright, what other things could be good that we could find in an ice chest? We could find warding ice skates. Um, I think the ice skates are the main other good thing. I guess there's the ice blade. Uh, although since I have the ice boomerang, yeah, I definitely I would prefer the ice skates uh, with a good modifier. Okay, we're 21 minutes into this one. Uh, apparently there's a spider cave over there, I think, because I think those are spider things that are glowing on the left-hand side of the screen. Okay, I still need to find my emeralds. Uh, oh! Blizzard in a bottle! Wow! Uh, that's pretty good. We have some more good stuff going on here. Thorns potions, I don't mind. Archery potion, I might use later. We can get rid of the boomerang. And I don't need the sword. Okay. Um, I see one emerald there. Are those emeralds? I can't tell. There's going to be spiders over there, though. Let's try to go a different way. How much time? I got 40 seconds left on my Spelunker potion. Let's see if I can possibly get into like more cavey places I haven't gone before. I guess I went all through here. But I haven't gone this way. Oops, crap. <laughs> Featherfall is kind of throwing me off. Alright, that trap is still there, and so I'm about to stand on it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, looking, looking, looking. Nine seconds of Spelunker. Show me something good. Uh, looks like there's some emeralds down there. And I have some bombs. Okay, they're at the bottom left of the screen right now. I think I can do this, possibly. Yeah, let's do this. I think the emeralds I saw would have been just to the left of me here. And so I'm going to dig for them. I see an ice bat flying around over there. I maybe should just go down. I still have two minutes of feather fall. I'm not sure I'd be able to jump all the way back up here, though. I kind of want to stay on the same level that I think the emeralds are at. Uh, 
All right, there's our three emeralds. Or are they sapphires? I think they're emeralds. If they're emeralds, then we're good. Yep, and there's some diamonds here to boot. It's a tiny little gem cave, maybe? I don't know. Okay, so I believe now I can craft a emerald hook. All right. And so... I have so many good things. Uh, spear can go in the trash for the moment. All right, so we've got a hook. And we still have Featherfall, which is pretty nice. Let's continue to just try to explore. Should I use another Splunker right now? I feel like that's better saved for the jungle. Oh gosh, these guys hit hard. Quit doing that. Fish statue I don't really need. Okay, so we're just kind of trying to cover as much ground as we can and see if we see anything super amazing. Yeah, 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 bats. Uh, show me something good. Ouch! Poop. I lost a lot of gold that way. Did not see that coming. All right. But let's now... Okay, we're going to need to build some housing. Um, just while I'm thinking of it, I just want to take the slush. Darn it. Take the slush and throw it in the extractinator. And get whatever we get. Got a lot of things I need to drop off. I should make the housing first, honestly. Hurry up and get the merchant here. Um, yeah, because I'm running late on housing time here. Okay. Uh, we got some amber. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't need the recall potions. I'm going to sell them. Let's get things I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell that. Uh, I'm not going to sell that. Copper goes here, lead goes here, gonna sell the diamond, silver goes here, copper goes here, iron goes here. Uh, tungsten, tin, quick stack. Alright, an amber, do you use that in like a mining potion or something? Could I do anything useful with that? I don't know. Let's not worry about it right now. Okay, I've got a bunch of money. I need some money in my inventory once I build the houses. Um, I don't have much in the way of blocks, and I still need a furnace, even. Um, I have a ton of tungsten, so let's make a better axe. Do I not have enough wood to make a better axe? What's going on here? And are my day booms growing yet? I thought I planted some day boom up there, but I don't see them. Um, I have all these tungsten bars. Why can I not make a tungsten axe? What am I doing wrong? Let's get these back on me. I got three Eye of Cthulhu's, so I could make all kinds of weapons and things. You need an anvil! Haha! -ha, thank you! You are a genius. I am not. Alright, so that'll help me chop down trees faster. Still not super fast, but it's something. Alright, um, and I've got ice. We are gonna make houses out of ice. Because who doesn't like a house made out of ice? I'm just gonna cause the snow to fall. Alright, and then we're gonna get some wooden platforms. Boop boop boop. Boop boop boop. Boop boop boop. And boop boop boop. And then what kind of walls can I make? I don't know that there are ice walls. Oh, I can make a tungsten helmet too. I don't have any armor otherwise, so let's... Four defense, yeah, it's worth it. Okay, um, walls, walls, walls. I have enough stone that I can make some stone walls. Let's do that. 
Uh, and I don't have a builder potion. Okay. Chug, 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 chug. That's close enough over there. And, oh, the chest is in the wrong spot, darn. I need a chair in this house. Um, oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, I can just move the anvil to the next house and put a chair in here. Hey, get out of my way. All right, I need three chairs. And a couple of tables, but in order to get the tables, I will need some more trees. I was really thinking that I'd planted some date bloom in this world. Am I forgetting? Were they destroyed? Did I destroy them earlier? Hopefully that's enough wood. Table. Table. Suitable. Missing a light source. Missing a light source. Suitable. Suitable. Okay, great. Guide, come live over here. Okay. So, uh, what have I explored in this world? I haven't explored that far to the right, and we never ended up getting to the dungeon to see if there was a water bolt, but at this point I've got some other good weapons. And so, did we find Corruption or Crimson? We did not. Right would be closer, so let's go to the right and do some more exploring. Except let's first drop off some more things I don't need to be holding. I should chop down some trees along the way. If I fight the Eye of Cthulhu, I'm probably going to do it at home. Yeah, so I'll leave them here. We need to still hold on to that until we get the nurse, and I could be using Thorns Potions immediately. If we find the jungle, I might use that. The day bloom can stay at home. I'll make potions later. Speaking of, let's leave myself a little station. I need to pick up some water along the way. That can go into an ammo slot. And... And I can make some good potions because I had the mushrooms. Okay, I think we're good. Let's roll. Actually, let me drop off the ice box because I'm not going to get any more. Alright, and I've got the grappling hook, which means I can travel faster over the land if I do this. This tree is reasonably tall. Kill this guy. This gel is very valuable. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And I've already got so like 20 some odd bombs or whatever, and so even without the demolitionist, I might be able to take on. Do I have an iron skin in my inventory? I do not. I should have crafted that already. I didn't think of that. Let's do that. I might be able to uh, take on a boss. So let's get that. And that. I didn't get the water in the water bottles yet. There's water right over here. I can see it on the map. Where is it? It's right down here. Okay, water bottles. Bloop. Great. Iron skin potion get. Okay, now I'm definitely ready to take on a boss. Uh, I'm gonna drop these off. And I don't really need the sand, or the snow, or the tungsten bar. All right, once again, let's get on the move. Oh, there is day bloom growing here and it did grow, great. Uh, I only had the one seed before, and now I have three. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, I will try very hard to cultivate those. And with the other day bloom, I could make another iron skin potion right now. <sighs> I'm not gonna bother. Let's let's get moving. Oops. All right. 
Three eye summons, I know, right? I found a bunch of gold chests. And they all had them, and actually... Maybe I should have brought one along. This so might be able to fight the eye shortly. And that would help me get a good weapon. Hmm. Hmm. I've got some good weapons already. Oh, wow! Look at this! Uh, okay, we can get the nurse if this is going to turn into a house. So I can move the guide in here if there's a house. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything too good right there. Yep, there is. Okay, great. This helps a lot, because now I can eat my heart crystals. Ah, uh, come on. Alright, so that's a house now. I'll grab all this stuff. Let's move the guide here. And now I can eat these. There's still a risk that we'll get one of the NPCs we don't want. Um, and does this go anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Alright, but now the guide is out of the way and we have extra housings. So that was a good find. And what's my current total defense? I need to get the housing menu off. Crap. Ah, uh, go away. Eight defense. I see. So I've got the tungsten helmet and the what it call. All right. And so if we find like cactus or whatever, I can get some other easy armor. Sorry, bunny. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Show me good stuff. Okay. Here's the edge here. Uh, let's get grenades on the bar because I know I just got some. And let's get shurikens on the bar, but I remember I've got the Hurtful Ice Boomerang, and that'll be a very good weapon against these guys. Okay. Alright, can't get through here, so I need to get back out. Not a problem. Great. Let's go... let's go down, like, eh, we might be able to go down that one. Let's go down another one. Or actually, ooh, let's check out this. Throwing knives, good. Builder potion, probably unnecessary. Uh, and I can't get through there, okay. Darn. And apologies, I'm going to be ignoring the chat a bit right now, because things are happening. <laughs> Okay. Alright, show me some easy shadow orbs, please. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Now that we got the extra housing, this is super valuable. Okay, there's a couple of shadow orbs that are probably reasonably gettable. I hear stars falling. There's a bunch of Demonite. But I'll be able to get plenty of Demonite by fighting I have Cthulhu. I wonder if I should go ahead and do that now and fight him three times and make some better weapons before I do this. That's probably a smart thing to do. Because uh, we're not that late into the night and I've got tons of good things. And I have enough mobility. Basically, I just need a platform right here, I think, and I'll be good. Uh, so let's make a platform and a campfire. Uh, campfire? I don't have enough wood for a campfire, darn it. Crap. And I'll grab these stars, too. But I should be able to fight the eye at least once. Oh, I don't have enough torches for a campfire. Well, I need the wood for the torches, too. All right, campfire. Uh, where's the Eye of Summon? It's in here. All right, we'll leave those on the ground. We'll pick them up again later. Should I use any whatchamajiggets? Probably yes. Potions is what I meant to say. Let's see, do I need to buff or can I kill all these guys off and do okay? Not sure yet. I am gonna do that. 
Alright, I am taking a lot of damage, so let's use an iron skin. And a regen. Just to make sure that it goes well. Alright, 30 seconds until I can heal. And we should still have like half the night, I think. So I'm not too worried about doing too much damage too quickly. Alright, now's a good time to throw these. Because they'll fall and hit them on the way down. Falling star over here, which I wouldn't mind getting. Using the boomerang for some light. So I get back over here. Okay. And I think it's time to start using a few of these, because I need to speed this up. Even better if I actually hit him with it. Alright, he should be about to change. There we go. more of this. Alright, he's almost dead. Alright, hurry up and die, guy. There we go. Great. Alright, I think that's the only fight that I could fit in this night. Let's pick up the things that I dropped in here. Um, and let's see if I have enough Demonite that I could make something good. And while I see it in my inventory, let's also craft that. Okay, and my anvil's over here. Yes, I can make a Light Spain. And I think I want to take that, or I could make the War Axe of the Knight, which actually has more melee damage and would give me an even better axe. Um, yeah, let's make that. Alright, and so, once I get a merchant, I can sell this now. Alright, so I have this uh, nice thing. I don't need that anymore. Uh, that's something else I'm going to sell once the merchant arrives. And I could put away... Oops. Hey, buddy. Ah, uh, boss kill counter, yes, thank you. Um, I can put away those, because I don't need them. I'm not going to fight the eye again tonight. Uh, I can put these bars away. Uh, I got more lead, apparently, so let's quick stack, and let's hold on to one gold coin. Yeah, let's hold on to one gold coin so the merchant could arrive while I am uh, out doing my things. And the corrupt seeds I don't need. And I don't need to hold on to the lenses right now. And the day bloom, I should go ahead and make another iron skin potion. And I have another regen potion. So I've got a set of buffs for um, uh, fighting the eater. And I still have 23 bombs. Okay, so let's go try to fight the eater. Uh, and I gotta update the boss kill counter still. Okay, so let's do that really quick. Um. There we go. Alright, it just turned daytime, which means I can get some more slimes, which I guess is good. And I do have multiple swiftness potions. How far away was it? Uh, not super far. Let's just practice using the grappling hook to do amazing things. Okay. And let's chop down more trees, because I'm desperately low on wood, and now I have a very good axe. 
Let's try to find some reasonably tall trees if we can. Hello, slime. Taste the war axe. Chest in a chest, chestception. I have my chests in the chest so that I can sell them. Once the merchant arrives, which you should be doing momentarily. Here's some nice trees. Thank you. And before I go down there, I should go ahead and make the wood platforms that I'm going to need for the arena. And get them on the bar. And what, uh, ooh, I used my grenades, and so do I have a weapon to fight the eater with? I have to hope that I get the ball of hurt, I think is what it comes down to. And did I get cactus and never try to make any cactus armor out of it? I can't remember if I did in this world or not. All right, but let's just hope we get the ball of hurt, and if we don't, then I'll think through my options. Um, all right, there's the guide, living his happy life in a tree. Got some more daybloom seeds, which is terrific. Um, need more wood to make sure I can get a campfire. Do I have uh, torches to make a campfire too? How am I doing on the torches front? I would really love to buy torches from the merchant rather than continue to spend my gel, but what you gonna do? Make a few torches that I have them. And, oh, I could make a ebon wood, uh, yeah, armor would be good, and that'll be easy to get now, because these guys are not a threat. So let's do that. Alright, there's our merchant. Whose name is Calvin. No relation to Calvin Klein. Even though he does sell a fabulous mining helmet. I have to remember that tungsten helmet. I'm not sure how much this uh, tungsten this cost, but for four defense, that's actually a nice, nice early piece of armor that I should consider in the future. All right, we're gonna kill this guy, and then we're gonna make some armor. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go away. All right, armor, armor. I want some armor. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and now I've got a base of 11 defense, which is super great. All right, and now we're going and looking for whatever the easiest shadow orbs are to get to. Oh, there's a light crystal. That's very nice. Thankfully, that was just a giant worm. Although at this point, I think I could handle a... Who do you call? Ooh, okay, I accidentally didn't eat that. That's good, because I don't want a goblin invasion. So let's sit at 180 for a little while. This one's pretty easy to get to. So let's try it. Three might be enough. Nope. All right, one more will do it, though, and then I can use a hammer. Which, apparently, I didn't make a hammer. All right, let's make a hammer. The nurse arrived. All right, that's fine. Still have another house. Um, yeah, I can make the hammer. Actually, I don't have a bow of any sort. Let's make an ebonwood bow, just in case I forget to make a bow later. Okay, and I still have enough for this. Okay. Hey, go away. All right, so we got a musket, um, which is not really a good weapon against this guy. All right, so we're going to hope that number two gives us the ball of hurt. And if not, we'll consider our options. Oh, crap. That was foolish. Ah, come on, Brian. All right, what I should do is go... There we go. Okay, and then from here. Great. Oh, and it's a blizzard in a bottle. Do I have a triple jump? I have a triple jump, right. Wow, I completely forgot about that. Okay, that's great mobility. Okay, there's two shadow orbs there that are very gettable. Is there one that's gonna take fewer bombs? Because I've got 19 right now. Uh, I did not go down here before, so let's do that. 
Uh, I've got glow sticks. Hey, crap, go. Hey, more uh, life hearts. Very nice. Crap, I need to heal. Okay. Um, glow stick, show me the. Thank you. Okay, we'll continue to hold on to that for the moment. This is a good place to use bombs, so let me do this. Uh, I'm gonna have to use a sticky bomb, but. I'll worry about gel later. And then, I think two bombs here will get me where I need to go. Yep, okay. Alright, so show me a ball of hurt. Vile Thorn. Ah, uh, Vile Thorn! How much damage does it do? That might work. Uh, ten, mm, and I don't have that much magic. I've got the War Axe, but it doesn't have a lot of range or speed. I really don't have the right weapons to fight this guy. But it would really help to fight him. Or I could bomb out some Demonite. I don't know that there's enough to make Light Spain. But even then, it's not necessarily gonna help. Oh, the arms dealer! Crap, I got the musket! I forgot about it, which means we need to build another house. Uh, let's go home and build another house and consider alternative strategies for a moment. Um, yeah, because I need to work out what I need to do here. Alright, so let's... Alright, we got quite the little village starting up here. Uh, I need a chair. I've already got a table, and I've got my wood walls still in here, I think. Maybe. Maybe they went in the trash. I don't see them right now. We'll just make some more. Or they were stone walls. That's right. That's what I'm looking for. So I don't see them. Ebonwood wall. Sure. Okay. That goes there. That goes there. Housing is suitable. Great. Okay, so we still need to get the demolitionist. Um, what do I know about this world? I still haven't visited the dungeon. Could try to get a water bolt, which would also help against Eater of Worlds. Uh, I am gonna have a ton of defense against him, and so I might just be able to kind of like melee it. I don't know. Could I take on Skeletron with what I have? Not without more grenades, I don't think. Um. Oh, and I have more Daybloom seeds. Let's plant them. I guess I ruined this at some point, probably during the Ayakthu battle, so we'll replant them there. Ah, think, think, think. Okay, I don't need the money anymore. I could buy... I really want to buy the bombs and the grenades. Alright, well I have a bunch of things I could sell to the merchant, so let's take a moment to do that while I'm thinking this through. Hey, buddy. Take, 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 take. That's not worth anything. Take. Um. Yeah, that's pretty good for now. I have so many healing potions, I can just afford to put away the lessers. Could buy more bullets and use them against Skeletron. Uh, that could work. And I've got a bow, and I've got a bunch of good arrows. Yeah. Let's go after Skeletron. So let me buy some more bullets. How many bullets should I get? How cheap are they? Uh, seven copper. I can afford a lot. Okay. Plenty of bullets. Skeletron would be to the left. Maybe we'll find a water bolt. Uh, what time of day is it? I don't have a watch yet. Do I have enough metal to make a watch? I do not. Um, is there any copper that I could bomb out really quick? 
Can I see the sun in the sky? Here's some copper. It's still not going to be enough. I still have a crummy pick. Um, we could get a meteorite tonight. Let's see. I feel like it's probably a good time to head over there. It might be a little bit early. Um, yeah, this still is not going to be enough copper, is it? The Dryad! Oh no, I didn't think about the Dryad! Darn it, darn it, darn it. Alright, well that's fortunate that I didn't go uh, gallivanting off. Because now I need to... Grab that. So many NPCs when you do things out of order. Demolitionist is so important. Let's make it out of Evan Wood and just use up my Evan Wood. Alright, now it's definitely got to be late enough to go after Skeletron. Uh, I'm pretty sure that house is fine. Alright, and we have the materials for Skeletron, so let's just go after him, I think. Hi, Stormer! You can turn off ambient backgrounds to see the sky. Oh, really? Is that a video setting? If you can remind me of that at the, again at the end of this run, I don't want to check it out right now, but um, I would like to learn about that, because while they do look pretty, if it would be more functional for the speed challenge to turn it off, uh, then I think I may do that. And I need to remember that I've got a triple jump and a bristle blizzard in a bottle, which is going to give me a little speed boost, too. Although, honestly, the grappling hook is probably a much better speed boost. Especially if I can find the correct range to use it. Okay, and I do see the sun is setting, so this will be good timing for the- Oh, and there's a harpy right there, which suggests possibly- I don't know if it suggests floating island or just suggests that that's a very high altitude thing you may do. Um, hi harpy. I will kill you with a war axe. And a boomerang. Oh, wow! Um, I might as well grab the housing while I'm here. Just in case there's some other NPC, like a painter or something, is going to show up. And since this is here... Uh, oh, there's my copper bars to make my watch. Alright, but let's do this. And let's move someone useless in here. Oh, gosh. Um, let's make it the Dryad, I think. Don't need her. Uh, more copper bars and a shine potion. That's nice. Alright. But that way I can get the Demolitionist at home. Alright, and so versus Skeletron, I have a musket. Yeah, which I can use for range, and so basically I just need a good arena, I think. Yeah, 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 vultures. Don't need the cactus for anything. Okay, here's the dungeon. Um, I don't even think I necessarily need to check out for the water bolt, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, not seeing one. All right, let's just move on. Okay, it's nighttime, but let me make the arena really quick. Darn it. Okay, I've got lots of jump power-ups, and so basically I just need one long platform. And I should be fine. And I can afford to jump across here. Actually, it'd be better to run across there. Okay, so let's do this. Do, 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 do. And then I've got these. Do, 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 do. Like a so. And 
do, 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 do. And we need a campfire. Bada bing. And that'll be enough. And let's put a block here. Do I have any blocks? It'll do. All right, and then do I want to use any potions? I think I might be able to get out of this without using any potions. Um, and if I need to buff, I need to not buff and actually select the correct potions. Okay. And, hmm. At this point, I could take on the goblins if I needed to, so let's go ahead and eat these. Yum, yum. Curse. Alright, so that's hitting him for like 24, 26 numbers such as those. That is going to take a lot of bullets, isn't it? Let's try to work that out. It's going to take like a hundred and something bullets. Yeah, it's not so bad. And if I could fire one a second... Uh, oops. That's like a hundred seconds or whatever. Let's turn off the minimap. Yeah, sadly. Um, and then I could I could shoot my bow faster. Let's check out the bow, because I've got some Jester's arrows which could fire through things. Um, it's faster, but it doesn't hit as many seg- or it doesn't hit for nearly as much. And, however, I do have some fire arrows. Does he get set on fire? I don't think he gets set on fire, though. Or gets the burning debuff, and so I think I'll just use the musket. And let's heal. But I think this is probably a decent strategy. And with all my jump power-ups, I should be able to avoid the hands if I just pay attention. Oh boy! Don't stand inside of him! Oh crap, 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 I'm gonna die. <laughs> Alright, I can't heal for another 42 seconds. I need to use the iron skin and the regen. Uh, and that should be good. And hopefully... Oh gosh. Alright, I screwed this up. I should have buffed. Actually, I should have not walked right into his face. Okay, let's focus on avoiding damage. 13 seconds to heal. Darn it. Five seconds to heal. And heal. Okay. Ouch. Ah, cut it out. Okay, he's almost down. Alright, so with the buffs, I should live. Okay, about five more bullets. There we go, great. So Skeletron's down. I need to update the boss kills to two. And let's not bother going in the dungeon, I think. Um, so is there anything else I need to do here? I don't think so. I didn't see a water bolt at the entrance. I guess I could... Mm, do I want a water bolt? Because it could be a useful weapon for that. Um, I can't get the demolitionist for a little while. Let's take a quick peek. Um, a meteorite has landed. I go after the meteorite. Um... Trying to decide what makes sense. Uh, I might want a water candle just in case I do crazy things regarding King Slime. So let's at least grab one of those. And I'm just going to look quickly for a water candle or some amazing chest uh, in here, I think. But probably exit out of here pretty quickly. Um, so yeah. Oh, there's, there's my water bolt. Mystic water bolt. Great. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, so that'll be a good weapon against the Eater, so I can go fight the Eater right now. 16 bombs. I don't know that I have enough. Uh, let's sell off a couple of things while I'm here. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need those. I need to make more potions. 
Um, iron skin or regen? I guess iron skin is the thing I like the most, except for I only have the materials for a regen, and either one will work during that battle, so we'll do that. Uh, I can sell that thing. The nurse is in kind of an awful spot here. So let's move her really quick up here. And I've got shine potions. So I could do more caving. Uh, I've got, I can make it to a clock. So let's do that. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, just a normal copper watch, but I can make another one. Quick, extra movement speed, thank you very much. Now I can sell this copper watch. And I might be able to make even another copper watch, I can't remember. Let's quick stack all my metal, no, okay, great. Okay, so I'll put that away, that away. Um, I have a Spelunker function, Potion for when I need to go caving. Uh, I don't think I need the Builder Potion, so let's get rid of that. Uh, Vile Thorn still may be useful. Ebonwood Walls, I don't need. Okay, I think the rest of my inventory looks okay. So, I think we should go take our shot at the Eater. Yeah, I think so. I still haven't done the jungle at all, have I? That's a real problem, because Queen Bee is a problem, but I need to do the Eater first so that I can get better gear to survive the jungle better, so... Trade-offs. Um, let's hope that we find some more stars as well, because I would like to use my Water Bolt more. Speaking of the stars, there they are. There's one. And I don't have a shackle yet, so let's actually kill zombies in case we get lucky. Here's a star, thank you. Here's a star, thank you. How many do I have now? One more and we'll get another uh, mana bit. Here we go. Great. So there is more water bolting for Brian. Oh, here's a meteorite. Um, don't have an anvil on me. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Uh, if we discover that we need it, we can get it. But I think I'm not going to need it. And is this where I go down? I turned off the mini-map. Uh, no, this is not where I go down. And let's zoom out a little bit. More stars are good, so we'll grab them. Right, and we have not even like made an arena in here, and I bombed out two of the three. So our arena, I think it's gonna go right here. And do I still have platforms? No, but I can make them. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of platforms. That's fine. Fine. Um, is that all the platforms I just made? I guess so. Hey, buddy. I left my campfire at the, uh, what do you call it, didn't I? Oh, well. Let's practice using this really quick. Yeah, this will work really good in this confined space, I think. Okay, campfire. Um, and let's do close this off. Okay. And let's also close it off up here. Good enough. And finally we'll close it off over here. I dropped the wood, didn't I? Yep. I still don't have much in the way of blocks. That could come back to bite me later.
All right, that's reasonably fenced off. Um, all right, and for buffing, I will just be using the regen potion. For weapons, I have a bow with Jester's arrows, which will go good. I have the water bolt, which is going to be my main thing, and then this thing will do a lot of melee damage. Uh, the regen potion means that I need to be willing to make the battle last longer. Um, yeah, otherwise I think we're ready to go. So let's get the bombs on the bar. And I have the Vile Thorn, but it's not going to do as much damage as the Water Bolt, so I should prefer the Water Bolt. Okay. And let me refix this really quick. And let's remember the Grappling Hook can be used to prevent knockback if I need to. Can I break this from here? No. All right. That might summon him. Nope. All right, my grappling hook should be able to get me out of here. Let's go ahead and use the regen potion now. All right, Eater. Hello. Welcome to Brian's arena of death and destruction. Oh crap, I got myself trapped in here. <laughs> that was crazy. All right, let's do some more water bolting since the opportunity is here. And then let's stand back and use some Jester's Arrows. Oh, Jester's Arrows are great! Me likey Jester's Arrows against this guy. I need to remember that. I could have crafted. Well, I guess it was a trade off in terms of the stars for the Water Bolt. There's our Demolitionist! Finally! Alright. Yeah, splits definitely don't work, because I feel like this still could potentially be an okay run. Even though we're, like, way behind on this boss, technically. Yeah, I might need to use a healing potion here, we'll see. Actually, I should just use one, because I've got plenty. Okay, these arrows aren't any good anymore. <laughs> Alright, the War Axe is actually quite good. Let's remember that. We can just sit here and... Alright, we defeated him. Great. Uh, so that is another boss kill. Number... Oops, not 23. 3 of 6. Alright. And... Um, I should go home and turn this into stuff, even if I'm going to fight him again. Um... Let's do this. Let's uh, try to bomb out another Shadow Orb bomb right here. Actually, that'll be one that I can get at the end. Yeah, let's just go home, I think. Um, also, oops, crap. <laughs> I just wanted to get whatever's in here. It's just a shuriken. Okay. Day blooms are still blooming. I don't need that or that. Or those. Uh, apparently, I got another musket, so I don't need that. All right, you, sir. I would like to buy a stack of bombs. I would like to buy a number of grenades. Uh, Vile Thorn, sadly, I'm not going to use, even though I really like it. Um, and then I need to cook up my Demonite and see where we stand with that. Oh, I might have left some on the ground in there, which I didn't notice until just now. All right, but with that, I can make... Uh, nightmare Pickaxe. Do I need the Nightmare Pickaxe, honestly? I hadn't really thought about this. Uh, I could just go after, like, the armor set. Um, I'm gonna need it to dig around a lot more quickly, so let's do that. Okay, and we'll go ahead and make myself some better boots. And, yeah, I wouldn't mind fighting him again. And now I've got the bombs to do it. And should I bring the furnace and the anvil along so I could just continue? I would clog up my inventory, though. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna buy a piggy bank, just in case I want extra storage as we go through the jungle. Um, fight more eaters. I think let's fight the eater once more and finish out the armor. How much defense? I've got 16 defense! That could be good enough for the jungle, especially if I manage to find one more good accessory. Uh, let's get rid of that stupid pick. 
And 28 healing potions will be enough, so I'm going to drop these off. Those will be good for the jungle. I could use some more uh, arrows like that if I wanted to. And unholy arrows, very nice. Okay, so then let's drop off these and these. Uh, yeah, I think let's just head to the jungle. Boop, 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 boop. I don't usually have much trouble in terms of streaming Terraria, uh, in terms of performance and computers. Like, my computer isn't that great, and it struggles to record or stream Minecraft, but... Uh, Terraria, I haven't had too many problems with. Uh, I'm playing just at 720p, so I don't know if resolution matters. Um, but this runs pretty smoothly at 60 frames per second. I'm just streaming at 30 frames per second. Um, but yeah, four-year-old computer could be pretty far behind. So I don't know. And hello to new people. Oh wow, there's 67 people watching. Well, we're making some progress now. We got off to... It was a good start with the warding cloud in the bottle, but still kind of a little bit slower, weird of a start. Uh, but things have definitely picked up, and we've killed like three bosses in the past 20 minutes, I would say. I didn't notice what time I killed the first boss. Clothier. <laughs> Crazy guy. Alright, I'm going to continue to just ignore the meteor. <laughs> and by ignore, I mean walk on it and get caught on fire, apparently. Uh, I could still use wood. So let's chop down a little bit of it here for a minute. Because I'm very low on that resource. And I'm still going to have a huge... Oh, I didn't buy torches. I'm going to have a huge king slime problem because I've been crafting torches. And I only have seven gel. I think we're going to need, in order to get a good time, we're going to need a lucky king slime spawn. Or a slime statue. If we could find a slime statue in the jungle, that would solve all of our problems, actually. So let's hope for that. Um, and let's also just hope the jungle is really kind to us when it comes to Queen Bee. Because those are, those are kind of what we're looking at at this point. The luck that we need to turn this thing around. And I guess now I'm exploring new new area of the map that I haven't gone this far over. Okay, here's the jungle getting corrupted, I think. Kill all the slimes we can. Um, that doesn't look like it's necessarily a great entrance. Let's look for another one. Haven't had a traveling merchant ever stop. I guess I guess started my... I have rubies already, but just in case I need a second one for some reason. I'm gonna grab it. I might end up throwing it out. But they're kind of hard to come by. And I do have a Spelunker potion, though, so I should remember to use it, provided I'm staying alive in the jungle, and I ought to be able to stay alive in the jungle with this gear, I think. Uh, does this go anywhere? Um, it might. Yeah, it's kind of going somewhere. Hello, slime. Okay, let's try not to place too many torches, because I really need to preserve the gel if I can. I've got lots of glow sticks, so I could use them kind of as my lighting a bit better. Okay, sadly this didn't actually go underground in the underground jungle. So let's get back out of here, however I can do that. Okay. Ah! And let's find a better entrance underground. Okay, that's going right to where I just was. There we go. Here's a chest that might have something. Well, I'm sure it has something. Might have something good, mostly stuff that's not good. That's fine. Okay, I don't see anything right there. Is this going down into the jungle? Oh no, there's more corruption over here. This is going to make things difficult. The corruption is, like, totally intersecting the jungle. 
I just need a way in so that I can get the Queen B, but we're like totally gonna nuke corruption over here again. Hmm. This worries me. Definitely worries me. I should go down one of these just to get a sense of... If I go down to the bottom, can I like bottom out of this and get back into the jungle possibly? I have enough bombs, let's let's try that. I want to get a sense of how far to the side of the jungle I am over here. Uh, okay, I do see jungle down there. Yeah, here's some jungle. Okay, so let's just dig our way in here. And now hope we can find Queen Bee and some other good loot. Or, you know, just another little dead end cave. Hooray for a stack of bombs! Um, I'm happy enough with my hook and things. Okay, there's a trap. So we'll destroy that. Hello! Go away. Oh right, I've got the water bolt. That's actually a good weapon down here in the jungle. So we'll use some of that. Let's heal, because i got plenty of healing potions. Oh, crap. Where's that, uh... Okay, I did get the pressure plate. I see, my inventory is full. That's important to know. Um, I don't need recall potions. I don't need ebon stone. I got an iron skin. That's great. Don't need jungle seeds. Daybloom seeds. I have a bunch of them growing. I'm not going to use the rotten junk. So uh, blink root could be really good. Spelunker potion I should start using. Uh, and... I could put things away in the chest if I need to. I should use a shine and a spelunker. Oh, and I still need a ton of gold if I'm going to summon King Slime that way. Ugh. Forgot all about that. Uh, do I have like a Hunter Potion or something? I got a Night Owl too. Let's use that too. Alright, there's some slimes. I should... Mm, I forgot. I forgot about all the gold that I need for King Slime too. Oh, there's a gold chest that I just walked right past. Let's go get it really quick. It's in a house. And there's a Life Crystal. There's all kinds of things. I start talking about overall strategy. I completely lose track of what's right in front of my face. Hurry's boots! Hooray! That'll help somewhat. It's a little bit late in the run to be getting those. It could save me a lot of time earlier. Um, all right, I don't see anything else good up here. Let's go get the life crystal that's over here. I see another life crystal over there. And then I need to start paying attention to gold. Hmm. Alright, I can catch up on the chat for a second here. Yep, just speedrunning for six bosses. Um, let's kill these guys. Let's eat this. Yum! I see another life crystal right below me. Let me quickly... Alright, looks like there's a way over here, and is that gold? don't have a good sense of what gold looks like under a Spelunker Potion, but this might be gold. Oh, I should have just bombed down, that's okay. It is gold, good. So we will need plenty of that. Okay, so let's do this. One, two... Get all that gold. Give me a nice breathing space. Yeah, I definitely need to come to the jungle earlier in a run. I think I need to really prioritize that. Alex was working on that as a strategy. Um, and I think it's the right one. Okay, don't need dirt. Uh, Splunker Potion, show me good things, please. Okay, looks like there's some kind of cave over here, but I might be getting out of the jungle. Yeah, I'm out of the jungle over here, so that's a problem. We're not going to find Queen Bee this way. Beach Ball, Special Looking Eye, Teleportation Potions uh, may be great. 
And let's grab the gold. Um, I'm gonna drown if I don't dig my way out of here, I think. So let's do this, and let's be wary of the boulder trap that's right there. But there's some breath. Um, can I get back into the jungle from here? I think since I got... I'm running low on time. Let's take a random... See if we ended up anywhere good. We're very close to hell. If I fought the Wall of Flesh now, I would have no shot at Queen Bee. Is there anything down here that could help me? Not really. An hour and a half into this thing. Uh, there is some more gold here. I think we'll teleport again. Since I've got some Spelunker Potion going and I don't see anything good like right on the screen right here. Not missing anything amazing, right? Yeah, let's just try this. Where am I now? Now I'm over on this portion of the map. There's a gold chest. Okay, so we managed to teleport right into a gold chest. That could be a good thing. Uh, another magic mirror. Oh, but 17 gold bars. That's actually very good. Um, so I'm happy to have those. I don't need the hammer anymore, I don't think. And restoration potions. That's actually very nice. Another Spelunker potion. Um, Alright, this is... that turned out well. Uh, I'll put these away, and then... With my 34 seconds, let's just stay down here and see if we see anything else great. Um, and then... We'll go home and drop off some stuff and possibly go back to the jungle again. I need to... I need to just, like... Take a minute and think about overall strategy at this point. Because my previous time was like just under three hours, right? I guess I still have a fair bit of time. Um, Alright, Spunker Potion's about to run out and I don't see anything amazing. Okay. Let's go home. And sell off some extra inventory and then think about where we're at. Okay, yeah, I still have a lot of bombs. I don't need ropes anymore. Some ingredients, different things. Let's do a quick stack over here. Okay, so I think I have enough gold that I can go ahead and make the crown, so let's do that. So those gold bars were a good find, because they saved me some time with regards to that. Oops, go away. Yeah, so let's grab my ruby. Actually, I think I still have a ruby in my inventory, so I think I could just craft it. Run out of the ruby in my inventory? I guess I quick stacked it, huh? Another meteorite. There we go, gold crown. Alright, so we have that ready. Oops. Which is good. I think I'm not going to worry about having to summon him a second time. I'm going to sell the ruby. I'm going to sell the gold. Um, yeah, let's sell off a bunch of things just to get a little bit more money, I think. Uh, suspicious looking eye. What time of day is it right now? 12 a.m. I can fight him again. Let's do this. Because this will help me get some more things. I will catch fire. There, he's on fire. Great. Hiya! Um, with some more Demonite, I might be able to make the last piece of armor. I don't remember exactly how many Shadow Scales I have. Um, but if not, let's see. Oh, and I've got the... I don't have the musket on the bar. Oh, and I bought some more grenades. Let's buy some more grenades just to have them, because they're pretty handy weapons for a variety of things. a little quiet here as I finish off this battle. Let's hope he doesn't kill off NPCs. Oh, I'm gonna ruin my day blooms. I already killed two of three of them. Darn it, I forgot about that. Okay, I need to remember in the future that when I'm trying to do day bloom, I need to not put the day blooms right next to my boss fighting arena. <laughs> that would be a good thing to do. Alright, well, we live and learn. Uh, let's do this again. Uh, 
heal. There we go. Okay, so let's see if I get enough Demonite out of that to finish off the armor set. So 14, plus my Shadow Scales, plus that's a little bit more. What do I still need? Uh, I could use a Breastplate, ideally. Uh, no, I could make the Helmet, which goes up to 6 defense, or I could save up a little bit. Can I fight him again? What time is it now? 2 a.m.? Uh, I could fight him again if I really hurry. Um, yeah, this is fine. Oh, except for I didn't see if I'm short on Shadow Scales or if I'm short on Demonite. This might be a waste. Um, well, we'll find out in a minute here. Oh, and let's set him on fire again, because that's a good debuff. And I can buy as many grenades as I want, so let's use some. They're good quick damage. Okay, let's set him on fire again. There we go, that's good. Heal just in case. Alright, just die. Oh no! Oh no! Is it daytime? Ugh! Alright, that ended up being a waste of time. Bummer. He was just about dead, too. Um. Alright, well, that's just sad. I guess I'll go ahead and just make the helmet just for a couple of extra bits of defense. Um, and then I could sell this. Hey, Calvin. Um, darn, 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 darn. All right, I really need to work on some more of that. Uh, musket, we still have lots of bullets. I actually should have used the musket against him too. And let's buy some more grenades while I'm thinking about it just to have a bunch. Great. Um, we'll keep them on the bar. Um, yeah, I won't use... I might use the boomerang. I we'll probably won't use the arrows underground. Um, okay, so I guess it's back to the jungle in Queen Bee. And I want to drop off... I've got a Splunker Potion. I've got a Feather Fall that I could use. I've got Shine, Swiftness, Iron Skin. I've got Hermes Boots now, which means I can get there faster. And I don't need ropes. Uh, just drop them on the ground, whatever. Lightsbane! I, I got the War Axe, I'm okay. Lightsbane does more damage. And yeah, with the Water Bolt now, I have like enough other weapons that I don't know that I'm necessarily gonna be doing tons of melee. Alright, but I'm gonna have to try to just bomb my way down into the left side of the jungle, I think, in order to... Oh, here's some more uh, Day Bloom, that's good. And I forgot to replant daybloom seeds. I'm going to plant some daybloom seeds right here. Just so that I have more growing in case I need them for a while of flesh later. So basically there's a torch uh, before the tree where the guide is. Okay, so I've got more daybloom available there. And this is pretty tall and I keep using up my wood. So let's do this. And hello to some new viewers. Welcome to the stream. We've killed three of the first six bosses that we're trying to do in this particular speed challenge. And now that we have Hermes boots, we can kind of travel around the world a bit faster. And so, oh, I forgot to buy, I really need to buy torches. Because I keep using up my, uh, what should you get? I need the slime. 
Okay, that'll be enough torches now. And can I afford the safe? 20 gold, I cannot. Okay. Uh, and since I own a piggy bank, let's put... There's a right way to do this. Let's put the piggy bank down and put all of my gold in it. That way if I do end up getting the goblin invasion... Oh, I do have... I could buy a safe. I don't know if the safe is worth it. Um, if I do get a goblin invasion that I fight off and then uh, need to purchase something from the tinkerer on the fly, I'll be able to do that. Okay. And the one day bloom hasn't grown here, but I have an iron skin and I've got some... Let's make some uh, regen potions really quick. Uh, I've got iron skin, regen. And can I make another iron skin? I can if I get uh, this. All right, and I can also drop off some more potions. Just to free up some inventory slots, I can drop off that that I picked up again. And the water candle uh, could go in the piggy bank, actually. That's a good place for it. So it doesn't clutter up my inventory. All right, and let's not forget about the musket on the bar. I can also use that as a weapon in the jungle. Okay. So we're gonna go find Queen Bee. We're gonna see if we can explore to get a few more life hearts that might help us out against Wall of Flesh. And we're gonna kill every slime we see. And hope to find a slime statue. And I have a Spelunker Potion ready to go, which at this point is mostly for heart crystals, I guess. Um, is that a date? No, that's an archery potion. That'll be good for Wall of Flesh. Hey, slime. So yeah, basically Queen Bee and a Slime Statue are the things I need the most that will be the most random at this point, I think. And along the way, if somehow we manage to kill another Eater of Worlds, that would be great, but let's not worry about it too much, because my armor, my base armor now is 18 defense, which is pretty good. And with the Hermes boots, yeah, I can travel across the top of the world a whole lot faster. It's too bad there's corruption in this direction, so I didn't get many slimes. Alright, but basically we need to... That's just the very beginning of the jungle. Let's go slightly further in and then start bombing down. So maybe here. Back here, I need your gel. Thank you. Thank you, come again. All right, show me a big open area of the underground jungle that leads to a queen bee. Here's to wishful thinking. Oh, here's an area of the jungle, hello. And yeah, I should, well, I've got enough torches now. All right, still going nowhere. Here we go. All right, you guys can die to the water bolt. Oh, and I should start spelunker potioning. Uh, in a minute. I see a couple of things right here, and so let me just dig down to them since I'm probably going to explore them because I could get like a warding feral claws or something, which would be really nice. Now from here, I think I can just dig. No, I can just uh, walk. Yeah. Over here. What do we got? Uh, Staff of Regrowth could actually be useful for King Slime summoning kind of stuff. Or slimes, and so I'll grab that. And I got some tungsten bars. I might be able to make myself a tungsten chest plate at some point here. And for this other thing, it looks pretty enclosed. And so I think I'll just bomb down to this one. Okay, what do we got in here? Uh, Hasty Anglet of the Wind. Uh, that's pretty good. We'll grab that. Oh. 
kind of hoiked myself there. And, okay, now in terms of the map, I still haven't gone down very far, and this is kind of the deepest point, so we'll just continue bombing down from here. Okay, one, two, three. Good, and here's another open section of the jungle. Now let's use the Spelunker Potion. Okay, Life Crystal, great. A uh, bunch of diamonds, not too worried about money at this point. Not seeing anything right there. Let this go further over to the right. There's a water chest, so we'll check it out. Um, don't know that I really need any of this stuff. The Jester's arrows are nice. I'm gonna replace my wooden arrows. And I don't need the invisibility potions. Okay, that's fine. Does that go down any deeper? Kind of. And there's a slime over here I need to kill. Oh, nope! That was a trap. It's a trap! Okay. Fortunately, I'm strong enough that a single boulder trap is not going to kill me. Here's another chest that might have something good. I accidentally placed a bunch of torches. Uh, Feral Claws. Angry. Uh, extra damage. That's very good. And some Spelunker Potions. Uh, and Thorns Potions, and so I'm not going to use the Death Weed for anything. I don't need a hook. Uh, more glow sticks, I've already got them all. I don't need to worry about selling that. Okay, great. So this is actually pretty good gear for some future things that we need to do, so that's good. Can't really see anything in here right now. I need to heal. And then I need to get safe. Don't need the ruby anymore, because I already made the crown. A moon glow. Oh, here's a, uh, what do you call? Let's do that. Let's try to kill this slime. Oh, actually, let's try to stay alive. Let's try to stay alive. Staying alive is important. Okay, so I'm going to do that. For extra safety, I'm going to do that. Uh, campfire would actually do me pretty good right now. going to take a little bit of time to dig through here. So let's do that. There's the jungle temple, and I hear a zombie banging on the door. Uh, Brisk Hermes boots. I think that's what I have, right? Uh, Brisk Hermes boots, yeah. Alright, so... That was kind of a double. A little bit of waste. Um, no kind of slime statues there. Okay, so the jungle temple is there. Let's look on the map. Okay, that means the jungle temple is going to be kind of here, so I need to kind of go down and right in order to explore more of the jungle to be able to find Queen Bee. And I've healed back up thanks to the, what do you call it? And so let's pick this up. And other things I want to put away that I don't need until later. Yeah, there are. So let me very quickly... Did I take my piggy bank with me? Or did I leave it at home? I did take it with me. Okay. Let's put down the piggy bank. And... Put away... Things I don't need now, but might want later. And some of this is just crap that I can get rid of. Yeah, it's good enough for now. Okay, and let's throw that away. Throw that away. Throw those away. Okay. Alright, so I need to go down and right. Oops. Ideally, to explore away from the jungle temple. Still trying to find Queen Bee. Here's a bunch of slimes. That's great. That'll be a bunch of gel. And how many iron skin potions am I sitting on right now? I might need to use one. The jungle is going to be tormenting me. Oh, here's a, uh, let's go in here, please. Thank you. Oh, gosh. Heal. All right, you need to die. Oh, slime statue. All right, that's a big, that's a game changer. Um, okay, so this, this, the gel problem has been solved. Um, I don't need the gold for anything. I don't need, just in case. Um... Okay, so now we just need to find Queen Bee. 
Um, this would be a good time to put away the, uh... Alright, words are not coming to me, but just sit tight, you'll see. I don't immediately see a trap right here. Uh, I guess let's keep it in my inventory, actually. Okay, so I'm not gonna need that and that. Uh, or that. Let's keep the slime statue in my inventory, and the next time I see a trap, we'll wire it up. Okay, and it's time to use another smoker potion. And I'm mostly healed back up, and my healing timer is going down. Okay, so we're gonna be okay. Oh, there is a trap here. Um, this is not the safest place try to hook up the slime statue, and I just started a Spunker Potion, so we'll worry about uh, the slime statue later. Okay, I see another gold chest above me. At this point, the gold chests are becoming less valuable and important. Um, and I should consider focusing more on Queen Bee. Ouch, there's another. Alright, non-brisk, non-nothing Hermes boots. I do want this in case I need it later. Okay, that's good enough. I'm also still in dire straits because I'm kind of dying in here, so shoot. Do, 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 do. Let's use one iron skin potion to help stay alive as we explore with our. What do you call? Alright, you need to go. And you guys also need to go. Oh, look at this! Um. Menacing shoe spikes, that'll be useful. And if I dig into here, I'm not gonna have anywhere to breathe, so I need to go get a breath somewhere. Okay. Okay, let's grab this. Uh, eat it, it's on the ground, I guess. Um, let's just dig myself an air hole. Okay, I need to get rid of those, eat that, and then see what's in here. Um, mostly stuff I don't need. Okay, I still have some minutes of our good potions, so let's keep moving. Alright, Queen Bee, Queen Bee, Queen Bee. Um, it looks like there's kind of a cave over here. Breath right there. Okay, where am I? Still nowhere too great. <laughs> People worrying about me drowning. It's a perfectly reasonable thing to worry about because I have been known to do that. I see the gold chest in the upper left, but I'm going to keep moving and go to this other chest that's over here. Um, yeah, but I'm getting better at not drowning. Okay, we're going to do this just to have some defense. Uh, those two spikes don't have anything on them, so I don't worry about it. I am going to go ahead and drink this, though. Oh, and I should be drinking a shine. Yeah, alright, that's good. Okay, there is another chest in here. Oh boy, and lots of light crystals. Alright, let's... <laughs> Alright. It's getting a little crazy. Alright, I don't need that stuff. Okay. I want to get these life crystals. I have the musket. I keep forgetting I have that. Let's use it. Okay, I want to get them, so that means they need to go in my inventory. I'm not going to worry about the boomstick, even though it might be a useful weapon. Alright. And then I saw a gold chest up here. Uh, which has more non-anything Hermes boots. Uh, there's some gold up there, which I guess I don't really need. But I'll grab it. If there's a trap here, this would actually be a good place to get the slimes, but I don't see a trap right now. Here's Queen Bee! Oh! Nip! Alright, multiple nips and a run, possibly? Um, that has a lot of knockback, but I'm sure I can do better. Alright, yeah, we can just get rid of the nip. Who cares about the nip? See you later, nip. We don't care about you. Alright, I'm up to 400 life. There's a bomb statue here. 
uh, which I don't think I'm going to need for anything. So let's just fight Queen B. And speaking of bombs, let's do that. Okay, there's the summoning thing. Here's some little bees. Okay, at this level of gear... Oh crap, I might have just broken up in Queen B, so let's be ready. I have... I have various buffs available to me. Um, I have lots of good weapons. Uh, let's just make a little platform, I think, and we'll be good. I think that'll be sufficient. And I can use the grappling hook to get out of the honey. Um, yeah, I think that'll be good. Which weapons do I want to use? I definitely want to use the water bolt. Um, Alright, so here comes our next boss fight. Hey, go away. Um, and let's... crap. Iron skin and regen. This queen bee can be... A pain! I've almost died to her before. And I don't want to have that happen again. Alright, jungle slime, you need to go. I need to grapple out of here like I said I was going to. Let's get some of those there. Let's get rid of this jungle slime if I can. Okay, jungle slime out of the way. Let's melee these little bees. Okay, and... Alright. Get some water bolts going. Yeah, that'll work really well. Alright, let's uh, use this. No, we'll use the musket. Okay, hang on, water bolts. That's right, stay right there, you silly bee. Alright, this isn't so bad. I have more kind of stuff than I did the last time I fought her. Where'd she go? There she is. Alright, crazy bees, go away. Do not like you. Do not want. Come up here. Alright. Commentary definitely went down during this fight. I've struggled a lot in the past against Queen Bee, and so... <laughs> definitely concentrating and focused. Let's hope it pays off. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Alright, there's a bee in here somewhere that I would like to kill. Oh, and there's a mana star here that I would like to get. Ah, so that I can get some more water bolts. Oops. Let's not needlessly open the inventory. All right, she's almost dead. All right, there we go. Uh, the bee sword I might actually want for something. I don't need these Hermes boots um, because it summons killer's bees. And actually, it's even a better sword than I'm currently using, so we'll do that. I still need an axe in case I need to chop down trees. At this point, shurikens are not going to be valuable. And none of this other stuff do I really need. So let me update the boss kills to four. Um, oops, four. There we go. All right, and we still need to find the trap uh, for the slime statue. I'm sure there must be, like, traps everywhere. Um, and... Basically, should I get out of here? How deep am I? I'm not super deep, and I'm far away. I've already got a good ways down over here, uh, which is kind of close to spawn. I could just kind of like bomb down from here. And I'm sure there's got to be traps and some of those things. So let's go home. And uh, quickly... I have lots of good things. Get rid of things I don't need. I'm definitely not going to need these now. Ah. <sighs> Alright. Just thinking here for a moment. Alright, let's go find the slime statue and get my other 70 gel so that we can do King Slime. And where is the nearest cave? I'm sure there must have been a trap somewhere near the glowing mushroom, so let's just go down there and go get that. Oops. 
Oops. I should have grabbed a pressure plate so that I could see traps, but we'll just hope that there's something down here. I can't remember for sure. Alright, I'm not immediately seeing one. Uh, Alright, let's go back home and grab a pressure plate. I think I have a pressure plate or a dart trap inside my chest. If not, I'll remember for later that I should make sure I save those things. Darn. <laughs> I don't see one. Alright, let's go to the other cave through here. And I have the slime statue in my inventory, right? Yes, I do. Okay. So that's going to be our ticket to getting our slime, to summon King Slime. There we go. Okay, so here's a pressure plate, and it was wired to the left. Goblin army, uh, I think I'm deep enough that they're not going to come hassle me down here. Oh, gosh. Yeah, <laughs> confused him. All right, so I can put the slime statue... Crap. We'll see if the goblins come hassle me. I don't think I need my NPCs for anything else. There we go. Okay, so here's slimes. So I get to step on this and get slimes and get gel. Um, and the fact that this is in an icy area and I keep slipping around is less than ideal, but um, we'll deal with that because we're getting gel pretty quickly. We're already up to 46. Okay, and we can kill goblins while we're down here, so that that, that works out good. Uh, assuming that any of the goblins come and I guess these are just the teleporty guys that are down here and the rest are on the surface. Are we near enough that my NPCs are going to die? Do I care? I don't think I need to really buy... I might want to buy more bombs. We are pretty near. I can see my NPCs on the map. Um, kind of worried that my NPCs might be dying. How much gel do I have? 75. Let's just finish this off, and then we'll go take on the goblins. I like this bee gun. That's another reason to fight Queen Slime early. Or bee gun. Bee sword. Whatever this thing is. How much gel do I have now? 86. Hey, here's a goblin who found his way down. Good job. And I think it's 100 gel that I need in order to make the King Slime summoning whatever, whatever. Alright, I've got 106 now. Okay. Alright, so I would like to fight the goblins over here to be away from the Daybloom. Uh, do I need to fight them? Probably, because otherwise King Slime is really going to get in the way, and I actually have good accessories that could be combined, potentially. Um, so that's another potential reason to want to fight the goblins. So that I can get... Although we're pretty close to the end now, because this will be boss 5 of 6 after I do King Slime. Hmm. So maybe... Maybe this is a waste of time. It usually doesn't take more than 2 minutes. Where are we? We're coming up on 2 hours. For the goblin invasion. Alright. That worked pretty nicely. I see, they've fallen down a hole over here. Some of them anyway. Let's kill some down here. Iron skin potion! Hey, that was lucky. And let's just do this to get back up. Alright, hey guys. Alright, this is actually, I think, will be pretty simple, and so I can actually look at the chat again for a while. But wow, a lot of people watching. It's an exciting moment to be watching, potentially. I guess it would be more exciting if I was at less level of gear. At the gear I'm at now, this isn't super exciting, because... Pretty sure I'm going to tear these guys up, even though I have been taking a lot of damage at different points. Mostly because I'm playing sloppy and not really looking at the screen all the time. And they are killing off my NPCs, and so just in case...